market now, uh, the LED headlights are increasing for the for new vehicles. But the question is, is their performance, the light output, is it really better than uh, than the traditional, the more traditional HID headlights? Okay. Yeah, depends on the type. Depends on the type of the vehicle. But when we will compare the the, the standard uh, vehicle part yeah. and uh, the, the headlights which are used, LED versus HID, I would say the HID is performing much more better. The light distribution is much much better. Yeah. It's not made of different small uh, reflectors, but. For HID, it's one projector system with with, with one shutter. Yeah, yeah. So, and but, but do you think that in the future the LED headlights will be uh, better than the, than HID headlights? That's uh, how the, the development goes. In the next years, it will become more and more strong, and from the high-end vehicles, it goes as well into middle-class vehicles, step yeah. by step. The advantage of the the LED headlamp is or the headlight is that it can bring more uh, 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 more possibilities for the designers so the, the headlights can be smaller and additionally on top it can bring some additional benefits else as higher cost temperature. Yeah, so for now uh, the, the, the main uh, advantage of, for LED is, is not LiDAR but it's purely that uh, design, the, the design, color temperature, the customer experience, experience you know, having the latest LED exactly. technology. Exactly. Yeah. Because customers, they they don't want to have the old technology. They want to go go going forward. They want to have the, the latest technology, which is possible. Yeah. And of course, car makers they push it because they have money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah of course. So for now, the, the LED headlights, the only from the top end vehicles, they are uh, they are like similar to, to HID headlights. Um, we can we can say that. Yes. Yeah. Yes, but, but the, the middle or lower class LED headlights, the performance will be less than the HID. In this moment, the performance is less. Uh, what, the, what we have seen, but of course the, the technology is moving forward and as well is penetrating in this area. But when we compare it with some specific wind cause, the light distribution is better for HID. Yeah. Okay. So can you tell us about the new uh, the, the Osram uh, Night Breaker laser bulb? Uh, yeah. Why is it? Uh, why did you? Why did Osram come out with a new bulb? And what, what is better about it? Uh, why uh, the Osram came with a new bulb? Yeah. Uh, well, we are innovative leader. We as well, we position ourselves as an innovative leader. That means not only in the SSL segment. That means LED, retrofit, headlights but as well in traditional segment. That means the, the halogen, the xenon lamp. That was the reason. We need to move forward. We need to bring something, still something new. Um, we have introduced Nightbreaker laser halogen, Nightbreaker laser xenon lamps to the market. Uh, uh, halogen laser, it's generation two. We have generation one, but that was only H4, H7. Now we have uh, increased the whole portfolio. With the main times H1, H3, H4, 7, 8, HB3, HB4, H11. So we have the, the broad portfolio for the most of the cars on the road. Yeah. Um, so and what, what, what is better about them about the previous uh, limited uh, light rays? So that's the reason because some of the customers they they are just a little bit confused. Halogen, xenon, laser. So what's the technology inside? So with the, with the halogen types, we are uh, making the performance window or creating the performance window with the, uh, with the laser decoding process. For unlimited, it was a dipping process. That means that uh, we have a clear burner, we dip it into the, the, uh, the paint or the, the coating substrate. Uh, we clean it. We made a window and then we did it the third time. And that was a manual process. And this window was not as precise because it was always how you grab the burner, how you move it in. But with laser, uh, we will take the burner, we put it into this coating, the, the, the whole lamp is coated, and uh, then it goes to a laser machine. The laser machine will check where exactly the, the filament is positioned, 
Yes. And then we'll do the, the window exactly around the filament. And we'll make the, the window exactly where they need to be. And generation one, generation two, we have we have increased the portfolio, first thing. And the second thing is that we have tuned up this laser ablation process. Yeah, so, so the, the laser is actually standard, it, it's about the production process. It's about the production process. Yes, okay. of course there's no laser light coming no. out of the halogen bulb. <laughs> that would be dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and not allowed, uh, no, not allowed. I guess. Okay. So we combine laser, halogen, xenon yeah. all together.